Hey Internet, today I'm going to give you a brief history of dial-up modems, as you can see. Now, before we begin, I would like to give a quick shout-out to Professor Weaver at Pennsylvania College of Technology, because he loaned me his external dial-up modems, and... And if you would like to learn more about uh, Penn College or Pennsylvania College of Technology, I will have a link to their homepage in the description. So, let's begin. The first dial-up modem came around the late 1950s and were commercially available in the early 60s. Uh, most people say around 1963. <clears throat> And they were basically acoustic couplers. So with this, you would take your telephone. Yes, I know, a lovely telephone. And stick it on these two cups here. And the sp speaker part of the telephone would go into this cup because the microphone is here. So what came out of the speaker would be picked up by the microphone. And you can see there's a speaker here. You would put the speaker part of your telephone in this cup because the speaker from the acoustic coupler would be synced with the microphone on the telephone. Then you would dial either your ISP or whatever you, however you, whatever you wanted to connect to, and that's how this worked. So literally, it would just kind of it would be like the com it's the computer's kind of mouth and ears, I guess you could say, and that's how it would send data. Now this is a later version that came out in the early 80s and acoustic couplers were used for 20-25 years and well into the 80s so what kinda outdid them was this more consolidated single piece unit now this here had the ability to connect directly into the telephone lines and this is one of the earlier modems that could do this. And you can see there you go, there's your phone, and there's your thing you would plug in your telephone. You would plug your telephone jack into, get that into focus, and there, you know, there's your serial port and your power and your on-off switch. So flipping back this, this back around, you can see that it is a modem 220, and it is a black box model. Now, with this, this, this number here is the, the, the important thing because this is the speed of the modem. So this could do 240 bits per second, as you can see here. And that was kind of the thing to make more consolidated and faster modems throughout the 80s. Now, this started coming around this and its predecessor started coming around in the early to mid 1980s and you especially you start seeing these at the at the earliest in about 1982 and they were trying to outdo our good old acoustic coupler here so you started with 240 mod 240 modems and the next jump is the 1200 modem. So, going off of this, it could do two, uh, 1200 bits per second or 1.2 kilobits per second. So, a uh, significant jump to the previous. Taking another quick look at this, you can see you have your lines for the telephone and your power and the cord, now this one actually has the cord that plugs into the serial port. Flipping this back around. And these started popping up more, again, they started popping up in the early to mid 80s. And you can see this one it is particularly made by US Robotics. So, Throughout the 80s, again, they were trying to make faster and more consolidated modems. Now, kind of jumping to our next guy, from 1991, 
you can see that this is a lot smaller than the previous version. It's not only faster, but in addition to, it has fax capability. So that's what they were trying to do, make them smaller, faster, and now they started putting in multiple things. So it's not only just a dial-up modem, it's a fax modem too. Pretty cool, huh? So as you can see, it this one does 14, uh, 4 or 14,400 bits per second or 14.4 kilobits per second. And again, this one is made by US Robotics. Kind of flipping it around there really quickly. And now this particular model came out in... This one actually has the dates on it. You can see 93, 94-ish. Now, 14, 40, 400 modems themselves came out in around... started coming out around 1991. And they were really, really expensive when they first came out, but over time they slowly came down in price. Now, again, we're trying to get faster internet connections and faster speeds. Another significant jump, and I bet a lot of people are going to start remembering this one, is a 56K modem. Now, all of these have been external modems, and I believe this one is from the mid-90s. So, these started coming out around the mid to late 90s, versus this came out in the earlier early 90s. And you can see, once again, you've got your power and your telephones and all that. Now, all the ones we've talked about before were external modems. Another significant jump is this guy here, which is an internal modem. And we'll get to this a little bit more in a second, but really quickly you can see the difference. But these work at the rel sa relatively same speed, 56 kilobits or 56 thousand bits per second and this is the external version this is the internal version so this one connected like we talked before like all the other external modems before this had and connected through a serial port and you would plug in your special cord here into this and this would go in now in the later part of the 90s, you start seeing these popping up, and we'll talk about some of the varia variations of this in a, just a second. But you can see this would plug into the back of your computer and it through a PCI slot. As you can see this here. And this is the same thing as this, just smaller, and it's internal. So instead of having this giant box that you had to separately powered, now you have this little card here. And this is a internal 56K dial PCI dial-up modem. And as you can see here, here's a slightly different version. And these started coming out in the late 90s into the early 2000s. So most people will say around 98 to 2002, or two, I should say 2002. And you can see there's just there's color, some of the speeds, some of them even came with special functions like this here. If you look very closely, put that into focus. No. You can see that says speaker and mic on it, or SPK and MIC for speaker and mic. Now, what you could do is you could actually plug in a microphone into the mic and plug a this cord here, the speaker cord, into the mic of your audio card, and this could actually not only act as a dial-up modem, this could allow your computer to act as a telephone. So if you're, I guess you're working in an office, and you don't want to run a separate telephone, there you go. You have a little function there. Now you can see these are all PCI cards. They're all 56K modems, and so on and so forth. Now, 56k modems sadly kind of died out for what came after it 
Ethernet and you can see DSL and eventually fiber optic cables and I thought I would quickly throw this in here. You can see these are also PCI cards. This one's a bit newer. And you can see this is an if we can get, there we go. You can see that this is an Ethernet PCI card. This is an older one. Here's a bit of a newer one. And this is what eventually replaced dial up modems. So you could connect either your D you could you could yeah you could either connect your DSL modem or now you have cable modems and fiber optic modems right into this so there would be an ether there would be an ethernet cable and this is probably what you have at home plug this into here plug this into your modem and that's basically how you do it so here's one for DSL here's one for maybe more like a modern cable modem and there you go plug it right in and plug it into your modem. You can also see, just like the dial-up modems, these are also PCI cards. So, so there you go, YouTube. And internet, there's a brief history of dial-up modems, and we even threw in a little about Ethernet cards. Thanks for watching. Bye.